everybody. Uh, we're so glad um, that you can join us today. We have an exceptional and just an inspiring group of people with us here today. Um, uh, they are actually from Fort Lauderdale High School and they have formed this amazing uh, organization, a nonprofit organization called Mindful Me. And I'm not gonna go any further into that because I am i don't wanna steal any bubble or any flame of the, because they can explain and they're gonna demonstrate and, and show us so many amazing things that they're doing. Um, but with that, before we get started, I do want everybody just to quickly introduce themselves. So hi, I'm Dan Katz. Hi, my name is Tiana Horsky. Hi, my name is Daniela Miller. Hi, my name is Hillary Harbauer. Hi, my name is Brendan Garcia. Hi, my name is Maya Ali. Oh, hi, I'm Catherine Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the clinical director. Happy to be here. Really excited to have you guys here. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. We're happy to do that. So we're so excited to have to bring them along because this just obviously ties right into what we're doing here at the Book and Villa House, where um, you know we are a nonprofit family therapy center. We provide counseling for kids as young as four up to 26, and of course their families. Um, you know, people that are struggling with, um, you know, any behavioral health uh, or substance use issues. And so a lot of what we do here is um, teaching people, you know, coping skills and basically providing them with the tools that we need just to um, do our day to day, right? Just, just go with what's going on. And so um, I was fortunate enough to um, be invited to this wellness summit at Fort Lauderdale High School and met this amazing group of kids there and they're talking about their program. program. So with that, now Dan is, now tell me what departments, he's a teacher at Fort Lauderdale High School, but tell me what, I am. So there's I'm, a few departments. So I, I I'm, I'm scattered, right? <laughs> so I am one of the magnet coordinators at Fort Lauderdale High. I'm also a teacher and mindfulness coach. Okay. So we do kind of spread, spread out a little bit, which is great, you know, we love that and Really love to be able to work with kids in all different aspects, whether it's a teacher or magnet playing their futures, or just helping everybody on a day-to-day -day basis with mindfulness. Wonderful. That's awesome, because we all need some mindfulness. <laughs> so, so tell me, how did you, now you're not all in the same field, not all in the same grade, so how, how did you guys come about with this? I will say that for me, especially, like, they're all in this um, different program than I am. I'm in a different program. So we started doing after school clubs and I'd see him like online, like, hey, like come join this. Tati was riding my bus. She's like, hey, I'm in this club. And she was like, if you don't like it, like at least you're only using like an hour and a half, like just come, just try it out. And so I come and I'm meeting all these people. I'm newer this year. Like I'm still getting into it and understanding more and more what it means to be mindful, how that can help me in everyday life and how I can continue to share that with other people. But more than anything, seeing all these students from students I've never even met or seen at my school and being able to connect with them and share not super personal, but like connect with them on a personal level to understand like I'm not alone. These people can empathize with me. They can teach me new things. I can teach them new things has been really amazing. And obviously getting new opportunities and meeting more students, meeting more teachers as well and understanding that connection and how mindfulness can bring us together. Has been amazing. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else? What's the next? All of a sudden, my kids are shy. Well, Mr. Katz was my teacher from ninth grade. He was my um, law teacher, and I was actually on the mock trial team. And so, still are. and yeah, I'm still. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> But he would always like make us breathe before competitions and like tests. So it would just help the anxiety go away. And it's kind of just like he gives us the moment to just be like, we're going to go have fun. It's not to be like super stressed out. So that's how I got introduced to mindfulness and then eventually into mindful me. Awesome. Awesome. One of the things I think is really cool. So we were talking about like breathing and I've been doing mindfulness stuff for, you know, over 20 years. And I love it. It's a really big part of my life. And it's really only been recent that the district and other people have kind of caught on with that buzzword mindfulness, right? Because yeah, we're yeah. just now recently hearing so much about mindfulness. But we've been doing a lot of this at Fort Lauderdale for a really long time. Yes. Um, one of my jobs as management coordinators, I help with all of our testing. So imagine a testing room of 300 or now we're up to almost 500 students in one spot. Like that's a lot of tension. You know, yes. they're going through these. And it's not just FSA, we're talking like Cambridge advanced placement tests. These are college level tests where these kids get college credit. A lot of tension, a lot riding on it. So 
everybody's all nervous and they all sit down. We do literally two minutes of just close your eyes and let's breathe together. Mm -hmm. The energy comes way down and people become more focused and less stressed. And we've seen a huge increase in our test scores in Fort Lauderdale High as a result of this. So when Mindful Me came about, now we have these after school club and we do events like this. Mm -hmm. um, we do events really all over the state. Just came back from Orlando a couple of weeks ago to try and share these mindfulness techniques and to share the idea of it with people because it's so important as a part of our day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we talk um, all day long, you know, specifically where we need to take that break. We need to take a break and relax. And whether it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we should at least be taking 15 or 20 minutes a day. I don't know about you guys, but I, I know I'm not that good about it. Um, and we talk about it all the time, but sometimes, you know, we need certain, you know, applications or something that forces us to do it, right? So um, I know like on our website, we have a take a break bite, uh, page where you can actually either do a 15 minute exercise or maybe just look at bloopers, you know, or listen to music or the water sound. So these are things. So when I was, um, navigating through your amazing website. It was, um, I mean, honestly, amazing. You guys have done a great job with, with all the different avenues that you provide. You know, they're doing podcasts. They're doing okay, TED Talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you, you tell so, us. <laughs> well, okay, fine. Come to our website because it's all free. And that's, yeah. I think, the biggest thing about yeah, yeah. this is that it's all free. So it's Mindful Me. That's Mindful to Else. MindfulMe.org. And we have meditations that will mm -hmm. range anywhere between like 10 and 20 minutes and they're guided. So it's, it's easy. We have this thing called school tools for the quick break. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, we, you know, I can only squeeze in five minutes. Our school tools and elder tools are five minutes, three minutes, five minutes, very quick, very easy, mm -hmm. but something for the middle of your day. We've got podcasts and our podcast series is going to start up again in the next couple of weeks with four brand new podcasts. Mm -hmm. And it's every single week we get a different podcast on different topics. And it's these guys and yeah. different uh people doing it so you're right. not you're gonna have something with him and your son is gonna yes. do it so you have ranging like ethnicities and backgrounds and like ages are actually doing this podcast so it's right. not just all students or all adults you actually have something where if you're on the older side or if you connect more maybe with mr cat <laughs> okay first of all i connect, with, you all connect with all of us all i'm interests. just saying <laughs> If you want something from someone older or someone who's been doing mindfulness longer, you can go to him. Or if you want to just hear what we have to say or just quick things that we do in between tests or right before a test, you have us. And then we also have our... We, we have, have Brendan and his dad yeah. is going to be doing exercise and nutrition okay. and health and nutrition. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? And this. we've got three of our founders that are in college right now that are also going to be doing something that really kind of focuses on that college level. So every week is a new podcast. So it's once a week, but different topics. And it's just great because it's something to look forward to on Thursdays. Yeah. You know, it's really just something to look forward to. And again, it's all free. So, so tell us a little bit how it evolved. So I was reading up on, was this from transitioning from in-person school? Was that where you guys decided to form this? Um, or was that just a well, way to... The, the, the three other founders that are at UCF right now, they, we, and again, I've been doing mindfulness yes. for a lot with our kids and pre-COVID, they were like, this is something that we really should be able to, let's form a club. Let's do something because you do this with us. But if, you know, we're not your student, we don't get this. Right. Right. So we're planning. And in January of 2020, we're like, all right, let's form this nonprofit, you know, so we can reach mm -hmm. out to people. And then all of a sudden, March of 2020 hits and everything shuts down. Yeah. So at this point, we were scrambling, mm -hmm. what do we do? And we're like, let's build a website. And we built our website and we came up with the podcast. We came up with the meditations and we came up with these things to be free access because when people went into COVID quarantine, that's one, scary, yeah. right? And two, you need to feel connected. Mm -hmm. So the website was a way to bring everybody together, to keep everybody connected and make it accessible to everybody, mm -hmm. regardless of whether right. or not you could or cannot afford. Yeah, and here that's almost exactly how our Wellness Wednesday evolved, was really the same exact way. And, um, and it was our way of still keeping in, in touch, you know, on, on a, a live interactive platform. 
It's also taped. So, you know, this is taped. You'll be on YouTube yeah, um, yeah, after yeah. that. So, um, but, but we love that. We love that connection. I mean, we need that, that connection. We need to connect with people. You know, we need that um, be in person, you know, for the, really, we need to, we need that socialization, but, but when you can have it, you know, there was some good with, with these virtual platforms, right? We had to do something. So that's why when, you know, navigating to your website and seeing, I saw those hand exercises and the different, mm -hmm. the different, so yeah, I was watching, I was actually, <laughs> actually exercising. It was, it was really nice, you know, um, but the whole, you know, the whole aspect or the whole reasoning is staying in the moment, right? It is. And, and also these guys doing it, which makes yes. it, you know, for high school and college students to be able to see high school and college students practicing this with you mm -hmm. and showing like, hey, I can do it, you can do it. And I think that is extraordinarily powerful for anybody. Right. And they're the ones that sell this. You know, you guys see the t-shirts that we have on. This was our first in-person mindfulness yeah. event. It was great. We had 50 students that came to our school, not just from Fort Lauderdale High, it was open to anybody. And we had 50 students that came on a Saturday morning to do wow. yoga, yes. to yeah. meditate, yeah. to yeah. learn about nutrition. And Tatiana yeah. gave this incredible aromatherapy yeah. presentation. Yeah. Everybody was yeah. making their own aromatherapy, but roller balls, right? To take home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had a, an, an incredible keynote speaker that was speaking about gratitude. Ms. Maya Rubin, she is awesome. Mm -hmm. And just speaking about gratitude and how that plays such an important part in your role, in your lives. 50 kids on a Saturday morning all high school age. So awesome. it's definitely something I think that people are connecting, yeah. but it's not me, it's them. Yeah. These are the guys that are connecting with yeah. other people their age. Yeah, yeah. it just, I think that's me, I'm sorry. I think it just makes them less intimidating when you have people your age coming up to you and talking about something and it, it releases a stigma that can sometimes be there. Um, like I know mindfulness, like he says, is a buzzword now. So sometimes it could be a little hard when you're trying to talk to people and all they think of is like yoga and sitting there and just kind of boring. And you explain to them like, no, we do different activities. We do guided meditations. We do a lot of different things and you can find your niche and find what you enjoy. All that matters is that you're helping yourself. And then, mm -hmm. like we say, you're emptying your glass and you're finding that tool to empty your glass. Right. That's what we're really focusing on. It's not that you have to come and like every single thing. If you just take away one thing from what we're doing, that's all we can help is that you find that one thing that can help you. Right. So I think that's the best part about us being the ones to talk about it. So it makes it more approachable. You're living right. in it. Yes. Right. It's not only just the <laughs> fact that we're able to sell it in a more appealing way to people our age, but it's also the fact that we're having fun while doing it. Like a lot of the kids, when we approach them about mindfulness and about mindful me and like the resources where we provide to other people, they don't really understand what it means. And they just immediately believe that it's boring, like Tati said just a few seconds ago. But once we start showing them that we also do mindful movement, which is a lot of fun, and that we also just talk and become closer to each other and we're able to create a safer space within ourselves, they feel a lot more comfortable with actually attending and actually using our resources. So that's, I guess, the magic in it, not only just the fact that we use it, but also that we don't make it boring for people, but also just fun and appealing to others. Mm -hmm. Taking a walk has a whole new meaning when you do it mindfully, right? Mm -hmm. We all walk. And I know that, especially like at our school, the way that it's laid out, these kids walk a lot in between yeah. classes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and climbing upstairs and downstairs. Well, to do that, to walk mindfully is that five minute break that we talk about. Mm -hmm. So you've gone through 90 minutes of class, you have to move from one to another. Well, let's do it mindfully. And it's not just like, oh my God, I, got, I need to go speak to a friend and dish about A, B, and C. It's understanding your surroundings it's looking at your surroundings it's all five senses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that helps <clears throat> give your brain a break you know yeah. as you're going from one place to another yeah and what about you pat are you finding with your with with our clients or your clients you know how you know what works in, in incorporating mindfulness in their routines or well, I love that you guys are doing <laughs> I think, I mean, I say that all the time to like some of our clients. I'm like, you know, I think it would be you know, great for you to join a group because, you know, hearing it from your peers and seeing you guys doing it and how it's benefiting you and having this, you know, this new group of support. I, I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> like, I'm so excited for you guys to be here. Um, you. you know, I think that what I've seen too, like, I love how you said this, Happy, was that like, 
it's not like, you know, you got to find what fits for you, what works for you. Mm -hmm. And we see that so much with our clients too. Like, you know, I know personally, I am trash at meditation. Um, <laughs> I try, maybe I can get better, maybe you guys can help with that. Um, but like other senses, like smells or things like that, or listening to what's around me, like on a walk, that has been so good for me. And some of my clients I know similar, some of them, they love the meditation. Like they, they can do that all day, um, you know, but it has to be like, you know, what fits for them. And I love you guys are tapping into all those different aspects and what can work for different people. Yeah. Love that. I think the best part about meditation is I love when he does them because I'm like you where I don't, I, I struggle to meditate on my own, mm -hmm. but for me, a guided meditation, like the ones we have on our website, especially one that he does about like the candle, which is a really quick one, or nice just one. putting yourself in like your place, the place that makes you feel like safe. Those are just really good ones that I feel. So I think people who don't really enjoy meditation, sometimes it can help if you do a guided one. So those are tools that we have on our website and that we have that you have free access to, like you said. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that is a good place to start yeah. right but you know i always say because there's a lot of people who are like oh my god i can't meditate right because that's the first yeah. thing that everybody <laughs> hears so, <laughs> so a, an actual teacher right okay so a teacher of mine like had, gave a great piece of advice her name is lisa goodwin she is unbelievable and amazing it's like can you breathe sure if you can breathe you can meditate if you close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths you just meditate it and people tend to get, takes the pressure away. right? Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. Because you hear this word pressure. meditation, you think I've got to be home, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 literally what we say all the time. It's not just humming around. It literally can be just as simple as closing your eyes. Even if you're on a test, even if you're taking a test. Or even if you're like driving and somebody just start talking at you and you start being really, oh, yeah. really no, like, no, 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 as long as people might think sometimes at least yeah. people think there's all these rules to meditate yeah, I mean, right, no. look we know our brain you know, you're gonna close your eyes you're gonna breathe your brain is going someplace it yeah. is i have to walk the dog i've got to do homework oh my god i've got this project if we're you know we're adults are like oh, i've got a deadline or you know whatever it is that happens throughout the day your brain's gonna go there that's okay let it go there just recognize that it's going there mm -hmm. like, oh okay well let me not focus on that right now and think about you know, my breath and like, but your brain's in two seconds, it's going to go off again. That's okay. Don't yeah. beat yourself up for it. That's what your brain's going to do. That's all right. Recognize it. Go back to breathing. That's all meditating is. And people get very caught up in the rules and there aren't any rules. It's just giving your brain a break. Mm. I've definitely been like one of those people who's like, oh, meditating is so boring. Like, I don't want to just sit there and breathe. And like, it's, it just sounds like so dumb. And then like, obviously like Tati and other people who are was like, okay, fine, just come. And if you don't like it, you can leave. So that took a lot of the pressure away and knowing it's with my peers, knowing it's with Mr. Katz, who's a teacher I trust, like, okay, maybe I can do this. And being in a guided meditation, being reminded like your thoughts come, let them come and let them go. Because I would be stressing like about tests or homework or anything. And then just kind of acknowledging that understanding that's something I need to do but right now I'm focusing on myself and how I'm breathing how I'm doing right now I can focus on the homework focus on the study and focus on everything else life in five minutes after I'm done taking just a moment to breathe and come back down to earth and really understand what it is I'm doing how I can get there and starting to plan that but first I need to get to a place where I can do that so Amazing, amazing. You know, and here you're talking to people that they can't meditate. <laughs> um, but then we, yeah, we're well, like, you can't. Help no. Help yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, everyone can meditate. I can't yeah. meditate without white noise. It, it, white noise, because white noise, it makes you feel like I'm in a place where, okay, it's raining. Maybe I want to hear rain that's hitting the window. Yeah. Maybe one day I want to hear, okay, I'm under a tree. I can hear the wind going against the, the leaves. Mm -hmm. It's things like that where, of course, there's like Mr. Cat said, there's no rules mm -hmm. to meditation. It all comes down to figuring out what's best for you. Well, that's true. It yeah. really is. Something will work. You just have to find where you feel comfortable. Yeah. And that was one of the things that I really enjoyed with looking at all the different um, 
programs or, or uh, mindfulness techniques that you can do mm -hmm. on your website because yeah. you're right. That one is it's not a one size fit all. Yeah, right? really so like and it's good to try all of them because then you will figure out what you don't like, right? Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then focus on what you do like. And then maybe you know, maybe challenge yourself. Maybe challenge like again, our breathing exercises we could challenge. <laughs> um, but you know, it's good to it's good to have a challenge, right? Because at, at the end of the day, what's the worst thing? going to happen you didn't do so well maybe yeah. <laughs> or you learned something but well. you did it or you did. or you know what or maybe when you figure out that you know if it is guided maybe maybe that will work right mm -hmm. you know and maybe you might enjoy it mm -hmm. so and I know a lot of times I might think to myself well yeah I know I won't like that yeah. and then you don't try it but how mm -hmm. do you really know yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. so it's exciting. I'm sorry go ahead that's exactly the reason why um, we just go around talking to people. Whenever, if I see somebody stressed and I recognize they're stressed and they tell me that they're stressed, I always be like, well, how do you feel about my tummy? Have you heard about my tummy? <laughs> it's, it's that kind of stuff because some people are really closed, especially like uh, kids or some grown ups that are like, oh, there's like, oh, mindfulness is kind of scary. Like, are you just going to be meditating and like, oh, boring? But in the end, you just gotta talk to people about it because mm -hmm. how else would they know about it if you don't talk to them about it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And it that's... always takes 21 days to build a habit. Yes. Is so, it that long now? Didn't it used days. to be like three days, yeah. five days? 21 days. So if you breathe for five minutes a day for 21 days, it just becomes part of who you are and you don't think about it, you just do it. Yeah. So 21 days to build a habit. We did a challenge. We, we do. We did do a challenge. Oh, and yeah. and so one of the ones I did was uh, write three good things. You or did the gratitude yeah, challenge. I did. Yeah, I did three at uh, three times of the day. So more, I did morning, lunch, and dinner, or like at night. You would just you had to come up with it was a like one or two. So it's three things. Three you're things grateful you're grateful for. for. And you can't repeat. Yeah, for 21 days, Ooh. and you don't realize it, but I catch myself in the mornings. You kind of you you find something. So like, especially on lunch, I don't know why I, I, I tend to always be like, well, I'm grateful for this today. And even though I'm, the challenge is long over, like we did this a long time ago, but I still do it. Like at night, I still will be like, well, I'm grateful for this today. Like, even if I had a day that I'm like, oh, I'm just so tired, like today was just, I'm worn out and I'll still be like, well, I'm grateful for this still. And I've realized that I still do it. So it's true. It's just finding that thing and giving it a chance to see if it'll actually catch, like if it'll actually work. Wow. So that is something to, uh, talking about challenges that we did do that yeah. was I found really helpful. And how how big is it now growing in your school? As in like my me, me. Well, um, the fact that we were able to get fifty kids all from Broward County and a lot of them were actually from for a lot of them, sure you is. could say that. A lot of the kids at least know about yeah. Mindful Me and our purpose. Have they tried it? We hope, <laughs> but we're not sure. Yeah. Um, we still just talk to them about it and we show up and we try to be there just in case they ever are open to actually coming to talk to us. But 50 kids from the district in our first time, mm -hmm. in our first in-person summit, that was that's a big deal. So oh, that's yeah. a lot of kids. Yeah. We've had online summits during COVID. Right. And, and those were had, big too. We had over 200 kids right. each time that those did the online summit and some from like different states, not just here in Florida, because really? the other beautiful part is right, we're on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do something that's virtual like we are tonight, it can really attract a lot of people that aren't necessarily there or don't feel comfortable doing it. Yet. Right. right. And even person. students that I know that don't necessarily like they're not coming in person like to our school, but I know students that have used our tools yeah. online because I know one one of the uh, girls who did a meditation on our website, this girl was like you're the girl that did the meditation on the website, right? I saw you and I, I listened to it and I liked it. I, like you have a calming voice. And I was like, oh, so people are using it, even though we don't know they are. Clearly our elevator speeches work where we're just like pitching it. And it's like, it works. And so clearly it's working. If a random kid will come up to you and be like, I've seen you before. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. Like, it's working. So, yeah. We do get a lot of traction yeah. on the website. When we look at our numbers. We are I mean, people are using the tools that we want them to. Right. And so you know, now we're gearing up to put a whole new set of tools on there, not to get rid of what we have and stay in there, but just to expand you know, the toolbox. Like, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I could even add, like, our group is so welcoming. Like, 
nobody in the group has ever made me feel like out of place. And that's one thing I love about the group. And even the website is very welcoming. Mm -hmm. And so every time we have a meeting, someone's going to bring a friend and then that friend's going to bring a friend. So it's like, everyone is starting to learn about mindful me and they're learning. It isn't just the typical, oh, mm, and like sitting down and being like, we, we're kidding. We're we, very we know interactive. The I mean, it's yeah, amazing. It's, 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 it's it is like, very interactive. Yeah. Yeah. And we grow, like, I have friends of all grade levels now, like ninth grade, 10th grade, 12th grade, and we got each other even outside of the group. Like, I can call Tati and Brandon, I can call all these people here, and they'll help me if I need help. And that's one thing, you make amazing friends in the group yeah. that will help you. And that is the most amazing part of everything we do. The fact that we, we, because we have been here for a while, we know the impact that mindfulness and our resources can have on people. We know like the positive impacts that we can have because we have lived it. But what's more beautiful is that when you approach somebody about it and you tell them, try it out, try it out, and they end up trying it out and they come back to you telling you, oh my God, this was life changing. Thank you so much. You've like made my life so much better. And I'm so grateful for everything that you guys do. That is the best part because mm -hmm. you see that not only you are helping yourself, but you're also helping your peers yeah. and even just adults too, because we also have tools for adults and teachers. So I just believe that's probably the most beautiful part of what we do. It's also interesting and, and I mean, it's really beautiful, but not when someone has a panic attack, that's not beautiful, but when they do and they go to one of these yeah. guys and like, oh my God, I'm having a panic attack, help me. There's been kids that have like looked at me and they're like, you know, I need a quiet place. And, and I do in my, in my class have a quiet place. And there's always somebody in Mindful Me. How many times have you done like I've, lavender rolling balls? Yeah, kids I've, have had like, mm -hmm. you know, stress or like, oh my God, and it hits you, right? We're all human. Mm -hmm. Just to, out of the blue, something could hit. But to be able to have places and people to go and yeah. help. Because we've had, um, we have, uh, pre we're pre law, so you have students who are taking our pre law program, and it's nerve wracking to have to do a mock trial in front of you know a, your a judge, which he's an actual attorney. So you actually you're especially freshman year, it's very intimidating to go in and actually do a mock trial. You're standing in front of your peers, so it's there's been times where I've had students come up to me like. I'm panicking. Like they know that they're like they're crying, they're panicking. I'm like, listen, let's just go in the jury room. We're gonna calm down. I got my rollers with me. We're gonna do aromatherapy. <laughs> I was there. I have a diffuser in there. Like we're gonna just calm down. We're gonna do. A, we're gonna take a moment. We're gonna do some deep breaths. I have peppermint. Like we're gonna we're gonna calm ourselves. I have lavender. Like don't worry. So there's been times where I've had to do that, and it's if that's when you actually get people to go. Oh, I'm definitely telling my friends and I'm coming. Like that's where you make the connections because it doesn't matter if I'm I could be in the middle of a test and if a person's crying and they're panicking, I will pause on my test if my teacher allows and I will go and I will help another student because that's what we are. We're just trying to help each other because I know that if I was in the same situation, any member of this group would do the same thing for me. So that's the best part about it is that we we have those tools and like I do aromatherapy that's something I found that I use that's my tool that I'm an expert with that tool so for me it's it brings me joy to help others especially when I just have an opportunity to do a final and the final presentation was just me doing something that I love to do I did aromatherapy and I have girls asking me if they could buy from me the the different blends that I make and I'm like I don't sell but I will gladly help you you make it yourself and I will show you all the resources I use and where I buy everything that's most cost effective that I found and I'm able to get people to join our club just by doing a presentation because they found it interesting or they found it yeah. helpful and our teachers are so understanding at our school I think my yeah. is such a part of Fort Lauderdale High School yes. that our teachers are like if they recognize something like that they're great about like mm -hmm. you know pause let's stop let's breathe yeah. You know, our teachers are awesome with that. They really are. Yeah. Awesome. Now, are you expanding or, or the yeah. club in other schools? We would yes. love it. Anybody yes. that wants to start a mindfulness club, we're here to help. I mean, it's all free. Mm -hmm. So right. we would love to help um, right. other other schools. We've gotten some calls from some schools in Miami that want to do this. Um, I know that we're working with some other schools in Broward as well. But Even anybody, colleges? colleges yeah, right. like, we're trying to get into we're colleges. We're well. into yeah. different colleges because we have already a few seniors at UCF. 
um, they might soon be working on something. We're also, some of us are going to UF and FSU. So we're expanding slowly. Um, Cause yeah, there's people out there who need our help. Yeah. You Anybody know? that wants to, we'd mm -hmm. love to help them start a club. Yeah. And there, is there some kind of training or you just got into the aroma therapy yes. because you love the, well, that well it was because we had a, a really good speaker come and she did rollers with us so i had the opportunity to see oh this is great i love whatever this is because i'm a person that deals with headaches a lot i don't like to take any form of medicine so for me peppermint was a great way for once she said peppermint helps with headaches i was like peppermint helps with headaches that's something i could use to like deal with an actual physical issue I have so I use that and then I started using lavender for you know sleeping time and then I started learning about where you could put lavender and how you do a lot of citrus it's a I, I love citrus citrus yeah. is good for your headaches and nausea it's good for um it's just good I do citrus and frankincense. That, that yeah four o'clock cup of coffee that yes. a lot of people yeah. have just take a nice hint of grapefruit or orange or mm -hmm. Yeah. Right yes and then there's good mood blends which you have like different like things that are supposed to promote good mood so that one has like chamomile and like eucalyptus and like different ones that are like calming and are supposed to help you with a good mood so i do different blends and once i found out that these blends actually work so like i know that sometimes it could be a little funny to say like no, oh peppermint will, yeah that's yeah. what yeah. made me realize okay this is something i actually would love to do because there's actual science mm -hmm. that says if I study smelling peppermint and then I or I study with peppermint gum and then I and take the test with peppermint gum, I'm more likely to remember because memories are brought forth not only with thinking, they're brought forth with smells and tastes. Yeah. So that was something I was like, this helps with headaches. This helps me with school. This helps me with, it helps me in all aspects of my life. It helps me sleep at night. So I was like, well, I love this. This is, this is what I need. So I just started deep diving. So I've been, a, so through my like curiosity, I've been able to share it with others. And then if they learn something new, we share it. So we're not trained, but we research and we don't just research Google. No, we're researching and then we look at what the website we're using. And if this actually any type of accuracy, like we're actually trying to make sure that anything I tell you, I'm not just kind of pulling out of a hat. I'm actually giving you something that I know has, some form of you know legitimacy to it right. so it's not really a a formal training it's more just us helping one another kind of become familiar with all the different tools and the good news is we are because it is when you say it's our training program it's actually hillary that spoke about this and she's like we really do need some yes. sort of training program right. so we are in the process of working with others and other experts to develop a training program that you can have even more resources than necessarily what's on the website but that you as a leader of a program, if you're a leader at XYZ high school or XYZ college and it's your mindful me group, that you will be able to have a training to back up what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, this is moving forward and we're so excited to be able to share it all. Mm -hmm. And so that is actually in, in yeah. the works. And we are working with some experts in the mindfulness field, um, you know, with the PhDs that are really kind of helping right. us do that. Yeah, that's great because and then you can actually recognize signs, right? Yeah, you know, that, that's that's our mm -hmm. biggest thing: being proactive, right? For any yes, yes. It, it, it's it's more successful in the long run, no right. matter what. Yeah. So if you can, you know, catch someone who might be looking a little stressful before they actually do have a panic attack, you yeah, know, exactly. it exactly. would be nice. So so that's great. That's, that's great about these kids, and it's not again. This is our part of our core group. Our core group is even bigger. They will find something that's like oh my God, I really like this. And then they will spend weeks in this massive research dive and verifying these sources yes. and verifying the veracity and verifying, you know, where is their science coming from? Mm -hmm. And it's incredible to watch them. I'm like, I didn't have that kind of tenacity when I was their age. Yeah. And so it's really a testament to them and this group and what they're doing to help others it's just it's inspiring as a teacher yeah. and you know just as a person in the community it's just very very inspiring right and we love that and we talk about that all the time with the, your generation is so open to you know mental health is so open to all these other avenues and actually 
getting the help and yes. doing the research and yes. moving forward, not just saying, oh, yes, I recognize it mm -hmm. and it's good to know about it. At least we know, right? right. So, yeah. but now that you're actually moving forward and, and taking those steps to actually better yourself, yeah. you yeah. know, and yeah. that's, that's awesome. We love that. We no, love I that. agree because I remember one of the clubs we have, um, one of the kids was like, oh, saying I am statements helps like some frequency in your brain. And I'm hearing this, I'm like, this sounds literally made up. Like it sounds <laughs> like the fake science. And so going home and researching like, oh my God, wait, this actually works. And there's science behind it. Like it's yeah. so like shocking. Because it's some like me getting into it was just like, well, you know what? Like if it doesn't work, like I had a good time. But then like seeing like, oh my God, wait, all of this science is back to people with PhDs, people who have spent their entire lives researching it and looking at how that works and looking at how it works in my body because science is super cool for me. It's one of my favorite subjects as well. So seeing that all come together to not only help me be a better person, but help my peers be a better person and continue to grow and expand this has been super, like, it's just so cool. Yeah, no, that's very cool. And to be a part of the, the beginning stages is, it's exciting to see that change and how it evolves, right? Yeah. yeah. And like one of another favorite part is like when you graduate, it's not like, okay, I did mine for me in high school and I'm leaving yeah. it behind and you disconnect. Like you could bring it on to college and you bring it on to your life. So it's like, this is a club that will stay with you for the rest of your life. Like our tools are going to be there at your access when you go off to college or go off to the real world and start your job and your career mm -hmm. and your family. So it's something you could bring with you. It's not like you do your club, you graduate and you leave it behind. Mm -hmm. You really could bring it with you. Yeah. yeah. And you can actually great. start it in your school. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So Just you like we're also doing what we do. <laughs> and, and that's exactly you guys. Yeah. Because you guys have like a great program too. And that's the reason why we are here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were definitely excited, you know, to have you here. I mean, when I, when I saw this, I was like, no, <laughs> well, I told you cause yes. I didn't even, you weren't there. No, and I was in Orlando doing a presentation. Yes. Okay. So yes. I, you know, I got approached by them and they just started this, this, their whole spiel. And I was like, how old are you? you know, that, that's in my mind, you know, because you're going places, you know, but it was, it was, empowering it was really nice to see the energy it's nice to see that it's not even just about me right it's about how we can help everybody else you know and that's our biggest issue is really you know getting the community involved getting you know this is where we live this is where we're, we're living this is our families here when you grow up and have kids you know if you're still here you know but we need the community to be involved Everybody has yes. to take a part. It takes a yes. village. You know, yes. if everybody just passes the buck, nothing's going to get done. Right. So we saw, you know, when I saw that, I was like, oh, and I went immediately, of course, to the website, start looking and, and was, I mean, really in awe. You know, you guys mm -hmm. have done an amazing job. I love that. I love that you guys, are not even just bringing it to your school, but you did your website, your the podcast, I mean, we do our wellness Wednesday and I know how hard it is, you know, and even, even coming up with topics, even coming up, who's going to take that day, you know, it, it's a lot of work. There's definitely a lot of work involved. So that's, is. that is and, amazing. And that's why we have great kids. I mean, like, like I said, I was in Orlando when you were there yeah. with another group of students doing a mindfully presentation and these guys just, you know, it's their, it's their lives. It's how they live their lives. And that's what makes it so authentic because it is, it's part right. of who they are. And that as an adult is just so incredibly yeah. gratifying. I'm like, oh, I feel good. Yeah, no, that, that is great. So, so what can you show us or what can you watch? Well, now we have to stay seated because otherwise we're gonna, our heads are going to be taller than the screen. Right. So we're going to say, Cena, why don't we do, you know, I'm, so you guys can follow being us. Being mindful, home, right? Being mindful of everybody's time. So let's do a guided meditation, right? Yay. All right. And we're going to, we are going to make this so okay. easy for you guys. Okay. You're going to make it really easy to. And then you can give us feedback about yeah. how you felt. Oh, yes. okay. If you choose, we're just going to do, and, and for everybody that is out there, I promise it's not going to be a long one, but for everybody just find a comfortable position, right? If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. If you don't feel comfortable, just find a soft focus someplace, whether it's at the ground, whether it's at a wall, you may lay down, you can sit up. There are some people, practitioners are like, you must be seated and some there you must lay down. You must be comfortable. That's the only rule. So lay down, sit up, legs crossed, pillows, no pillows, whatever makes you happy. And just breathe. 
Just breathe in and out through your nose, just like you would normally breathe. And I promise you, your brain is going to wander and that's absolutely okay. Let it go. Let your brain go wherever it wants to and just breathe. So I invite you to take a nice deep breath in through your nose and let your stomach expand as if you were getting fat and hold that breath. And then exhale through your mouth, let your stomach flatten. Let's try that again. Let's inhale through your nose, let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach fly. And just breathe in and out through your nose. And again, let your mind go wherever it wants to go. So let's travel someplace together. I want you to think about any place in the world, the galaxy, the universe, the real realm, or the fantasy realm, and choose a place that makes you most happy. It could be the beach, a theme park, Hogwarts. And picture yourself in that place and just stay still. And notice, what do you see? Start with the colors. What colors do you see? Greens or blues, pink, purple. Notice each and every color. Are there physical things around for you to touch? Is there a building or grass, dirt? Go and touch it. What does it feel like? Is it smooth or rough? Prickly? Soft? As you continue to walk through your world, what are you noticing? What shapes? What's the sky look like? Is there a sky or are you underground? What do the walls look like? And the air around you. What does that feel like? Is there a breeze blowing? Is it cold, hot, perfect temperature? If you're in the water or in space or in a forest, what does the air around you feel like? And now your smells. Only if you're at a theme park, you probably smell popcorn, maybe churros. But wherever you are, what's the smell? Take a nice breath. And because this is a place you chose, and as you're feeling, smelling, seeing, touching, how good do you feel in this exploration? So let's take a walk and I'm gonna give you time to explore all five senses and just be wherever you're at.
And as you continue to walk through your area, you notice that the edges are getting a little hazy. And the world where you are is starting to fade. And you start to feel the air around you in your space, your room, the office, wherever you're watching this webinar. You start to feel the seat beneath you, the floor beneath you, the air around you. Take a moment to wiggle your toes and your fingers. With keeping your eyes closed or your soft focus, put your ear to your shoulder on either side, left to left, right to right, gently and slowly. Now do your chin to your chest and your neck back a few times, slowly, gently. Let's take another nice deep breath in through your nose and let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. And as you come back into your physical body, you start to feel everything around you, your senses being fully grounded. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes and welcome back. Hello. So for those of you that are watching me, if you weren't doing the meditation, I kept checking my watches and I'm looking at the time to keep this you know, kind of short and not let everybody go off too much. And that was about six minutes. So a very, 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 very short meditation. And it's a great place to go back to whenever you just feel like I just need a break. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's definitely easier when it's guided. Although I changed my location. Oh, right <laughs> <laughs> I don't change my mind. You'll find your place. I mean, I'm always, yeah. well, I'm always by the ocean, but I started on a boat in the ocean. I ended up on the sand. <laughs> Were you able to get the five senses in there? Were you able to feel and smell? Yeah. Um, Taste was definitely there. <laughs> you taste the salt? No, I was tasting a nice tropical drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I love it. I was it's there. Your place. I was Absolutely. there. I was there. No, um, but but yeah, so it, it was nice. It's you know, it's nice to be able to have someone tell you to remind you what to look at, right? Because of course yeah. I started to wander at the beginning you know i'm thinking oh you know all those cables that are struck the bananas <laughs> um so you know I, I started to wander at the very beginning it took me a second i was like okay i'm not supposed to worry about that so there's yeah. no way there's no yeah. wrong. That's, i think that's the and the best piece of advice is like if thoughts come let them come yeah. and just like kind of release them i think that mm, it takes all the like pressure of yeah. meditation away especially with these guided ones um i love this one because you just kind of go to your place so for me it's like just you know those thoughts of that thing i have to go finish or that <laughs> that essay i have to go right it's like okay well they came to me and i just i'm gonna release them right now because I'm going to go to my place and I'm going to think about what I'm going to touch or how it just looks a little bit different each time. And the reality is what's five minutes? Yeah. yeah. How this was six, six minutes. Six happy minutes. minutes. What's, what's going to be, is there going to be a different outcome of going to, you know, doing that project or whatever the next thing that you have to do, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're late for work. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, I mean, there's not going to be anything so devastating, you know, devastating that you can't wait and spend those extra five, 10 minutes. And this is where I think we missed the boat, you know? It, it is. I get 18 minutes for lunch as a teacher and five of those are just breathing because it's right in the middle of my day and I need that for myself. Yeah. So, you know, we use the example of empty your glass. That's part of our, our logo. You know, and the idea is that if my glass is full of water, if I add one more drop, it's going to start to overflow, right. right? So we as human beings, we fill so high and we never empty. So when something small happens, we lose our temper, mm -hmm. right? That's like when you go back and you reflect and you're like, why did I just lose my temper for that? Yeah. Or you're in a bad mood or you're cranky. And for all of these things that sometimes make life challenging. We haven't emptied our glass enough to be able to put more water in. 
You know, when the glass is empty and it's filling with water, there's no disruption. There's no water on the counter. There's no water on the floor. There's no water anywhere. Just glass is filling. Yeah. So we just have to keep emptying that. And that's that's where these mindfulness tools really come in. Yeah. So so which are your favorite tools? You well, um, mine personally is the guided meditations. Mm -hmm. I personally like the longer ones. Um, I have personally a harder time visualizing stuff. I'm not sure why, but it's really hard for me. So I like the ones that actually make me think rather than try to visualize. And those take a lot of times a little bit longer. But that's just me personally. Mm -hmm. Those are more of our the mantra meditations where it's not as visual, but there's other things within the, the meditation right. for you to say and do, so you don't need the visualization. Right, and that's and that's what I like so much about what we have built online on our okay. websites and also on our YouTube. Um, there's so much variety of everything, like from mindful movements and stretches to the longest kinds of meditations you can find and the shortest ones mm -hmm. and it's just beautiful to be honest and we also have tools in spanish which is pretty I cool because that. not everybody you know mm -hmm. knows english yeah so it's amazing yeah yeah how about you guys um well personally as an athlete or was an athlete i never really had time to like you know take more than five minutes to actually prep for anything if you're going to a game you may not be the best team or the best person on the team, but it's still a lot of anxiety yeah. going against probably your rivals or just someone from out of state. It's a lot of nervousness and you're put in that place where, okay, people are watching you. Your teammates are going to rely on you. Your coach is looking at you. You don't want to disappoint them. So before you go into that game, take five minutes to like relax, breathe, take in all that energy and release it and that moment by yourself and then walk into there with some confidence it really builds your confidence even if it's a tad bit yeah. it still builds some of it up it's true so many of our athletes also and what brandon said is extraordinarily true for any situation just take five seconds before any any situation but visualization is also so important as well yeah. and so many of our athletes today the professional athletes visualize the outcome many of our olympians visualize the outcome before they even do it yeah. That's such a powerful tool. Yeah. Of course, like there would be times where like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to add it to my teammate. This is going to go, everything's going to go right in my head. I'm playing it out in my head. Everything's going to go right. Mm -hmm. you, you build that confidence knowing, okay, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to go in there. Me and my teammates are going to work together and we're going to get this done. And then you visualize it. Okay, this is going to happen. Here's how the game plan is going to go out. Here's the plan. Coach is going to say this, this, and this, and it's gonna, everything's going to go right. That's how I really I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even on the day-to-day -day basis, like I personally, um, since we're talking more like personally, like he's an athlete, so he's got that going on. I personally had issues with like managing my emotions and the intensity of my own emotions, um, even on my day-to-day -day life, like take uh, without taking into consideration like academics and anything else that I do outside of my own emotions. Um, I would get angry a lot and that happens to a lot of us and I would outburst because my glass would be so filled up that I that anything small would just make me freak out and that was bad and it was until I realized that when I felt that I could feel it coming I would just close my eyes breathe like five deep breaths and most of the time it goes away if not all the times so even on a day-to-day -day thing, if you don't do anything like athletics or like high rigorous academic courses, it can still help out. Even if it's just like you have very intense emotions and you need to deal with them. Mm -hmm. So I find that to be incredibly amazing. Nice. Nice. So now you guys got your work cut out, right? Yeah. Now who's graduating? All right. And you're pre-law. You're yeah. going where? U.S. So University of Florida, Gators. He's really happy. That's uh, so uh, 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 so He's really excited. So, I, and I am hoping to start along with one of our other, like, she's really usually here, but she had something to do. She's also going to UF with us, Bianca. So okay. her and I are hoping to, like, get something get going started. and nice. try to get Mindful Me in UF. And then you're graduating too. Yeah, I'm graduating and I'm going to Florida State. 
Okay. No, no, we've, we've talked about this before. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely. I know, right? So we got we to have floor to cover. Absolutely. We're definitely going to have it covered completely. Um, yes. I'm definitely going to take that there. Um, Sally's so just going to be me, but I think we can definitely make it work. You know, okay. it comes down to being proactive, like you yeah. guys taught us today. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll give you my daughter's number. She's up there. Nice. And is, she oh, that would be amazing. Definitely. And where are you going? Or I'm what gonna, are you doing? I am going to Broward College nice. for my first two years. Okay. And from those first two years, I plan to actually, you know, put in the work to make sure my me sticks there. Absolutely. Or at least get it in there some way, somehow. Nice. And oh, I got somebody years, for you. Oh, that's great. Okay. Another I can't thing. help you out. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, me and the other are going to start yeah. here. We're yeah. all yeah. driving up to Gainesville. Oh, we're all going to say the same thing. We're going to, trust me, we're, between me and her, we're going to make headway. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Actually, I do have someone I can hook you up with. Okay. We're open I to do. everyone. <laughs> I yeah. my, my just... It's going to be an even fight because I'm trying to. And then wherever <laughs> they go, we'll you with us. Yeah, wherever absolutely. they go, we're transferring. That's and right. then I know students going out of state who I've spoken to about getting it into like the college they're going to or students at other high schools where That's so I awesome. that are really stressed out. So we're just hoping to, you know, just spread it around. It, it doesn't need to stay Florida. It doesn't need to stay Broward. It's just. Everywhere you go, one there's going to be stress. Yeah. Yeah. Really I love that. So I definitely yeah. can give you some some contact. Right That'd be amazing. I have some seniors there, and I got a dean for you. Um, yes. So that, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll be all over that. They love that. You know, th this is what it's all about, right? You know, yes. how we can help one another. Yes. You know, so you, you guys know. It's been so great in inviting yes. us today. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Yeah, we were so excited. Yeah, we were so excited. They told me I was like, they do what? They're on their response. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm the person that I, I always like to have something playing. I don't care what it is. I've watched shows a hundred times and it's not because I actually watch them, but it's just because I'm playing them and the podcast, I'll just play because I'm like, I just need somebody to say something. So it's not yeah. quiet. So yeah. I, I love having noise. So yeah. for me, like listening to the podcast, walking to class to class, or just listening to the podcast while I'm trying to get work done. So they're great tools on the website. You just yeah, you know, yourself absolutely. On their oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll listen to myself, but I'll definitely keep listening to the other one. So I'll, I'll send you an email, of, you know, with all the different Thank contacts. You. For Thank sure. You. We love that. We love, you know, anything that we can help, you know, collaborate with, love that. Um, you know, we'd love to have you back. We would um, love to. Maybe yeah. have yeah. some yeah. mindfulness yeah. exercises. Yeah, the staff. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh, staff. Yeah. We actually developed this really cool um, program. You know, that's like you yeah. know, one shot workshop called like repro how to reprogram your brain. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and it's really does it make us smarter? It does every day. <laughs> so you know, and again, well, I know that I've mentioned you know one of my teachers that my my men my mentor as lisa goodwin she's got you know always says this one thing change one word change your life yes and it's really true so we have created the word that we can help you guys change your brain so i love so. that so so we're definitely going to have mindful um me come back and and, and work with our staff and, and anybody else and we'll definitely spread the word um you, you know go thank into you. the different businesses you. you know That's to awesome. go in and and share that you know knowledge i mean so it's mindful me with two l's that work yeah so mindful me two l's dot org you will you could also visit our website at tbhcares.org and they will be on our partners page um, where it'll link, you know, hyperlink to your website as well. Thank Anything you. that we can to support, we love what you guys are doing. Um, it's it's so exciting to see, you know, the passion mm -hmm. and just really trying to make everybody have a better a better life. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what it's all about, right? Put a smile on the face. So again, thanks for um taking that trip all the way over here yeah thank you for having me again thanks for spending that time yeah. definitely we'll um we'll be inviting you again and i will definitely give you some contacts anything that we can spread this i'd love it you know thank anything you. we can do so much. and again be sure to visit us on our website um tbhcares.org uh, for our future webinars you know we're always into bringing you know wonderful organizations, you know, like such as um, Mindful, Mindful Me, 
uh, to the table, just again, educating, you know, our community, what's out there, what's available. Uh, again, wellness is a path to happiness. So everybody, thank you. Have a great day. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.